creator Sonoy created the sun, created rain and snow, and he created Mother Earth. When creator makes life, he takes earth, Mother Earth, and water and creates all things. He created the buffalo. The buffalo he created for native people. They fed our people. They clothed us. They took care of us. The buffalo has a unique relationship with all Native Americans. They made teepees and shelter out of their hides, tools out of their bones and their horns, numerous uses for, for the bison. Today, the bison is still being used to support our tribal nations, particularly the Ute tribe. And for our Ute people, those buffalo were so big and mammoth that they could feed so many. And because of its strength and its power and its wisdom, we use that buffalo spirit in our ceremonies. The bison is, is our brother, and they, they serve as a source of power, a medicine, if you will. And if you remember the Yellowstone, buffalo was a, one of the last surviving herds. And my father, he took me to a flat up here. And what he said to me was, they were once here. And he said, maybe someday you'll bring them back. A lot of people played a lot of key parts in bringing the bison back to our lands. We really appreciate that. Sitla wanted a trade at a southern part of our reservation called Total Pole Trail. I said, we'll, we'll exchange for these buffalo. So they agreed to that. So that's where the, uh, this herd started from. Since the reintroduction of the bison to the Hill Creek area, the bison herd for the Udini tribe has flourished, making them one of the largest free-ranging wild buffalo herds in the nation. In 2016, the first initial bison were transported from the Hill Creek herd up to where we are this present day at the, at the bison corrals. This project was a dream come true for me. Our corral here is very big and we've got over 250 head right now. This operation is called the Bison Project, and we take care of these bison for about four years. We make sure they're healthy for our elders to eat and serve our community. This project was, was put together for that purpose, you know, to feed the people. Uh, when you work with the bison for so long, you start to see different personalities in the bison on the way they, they uh, react and the way they behave, especially through, through different seasons. And uh, you, kind of, you, get that, you get that connection with them too when you're around them every day. The care for the bison starts off with the, uh, the right amount of feed protein that will allow that to be able to give them the weight needed but without interfering with, uh, say, their digestive system. It makes me proud to be here on this on this project. It's great to get up personal with them and to and to care for them and watch them grow. And, and when you get to know each one of these animals personally, and which ones are halfway friendly, you know. I mean, these these aren't cattle. I mean, these are these are big, beautiful bison. And it's important because it, it gives. Uh, our younger people a sense of pride 
to be proud of something that can go uh, state, nation, worldwide. It, it's been a very successful program. It's always in high demand. All their products, their fresh meats, their jerky, their byproducts, all of that is used. My favorite part of the bison to eat is, is the burger. I, I like the bison burger. My main one is the steak. I mean, they call it the tomahawk down at the crossing. The bison sticks. It's a good item. Tasty. Bison is great. The omega-3, which is really healthy for our people, uh, especially if you're diabetic, you know, bison meat is so lean, but it's really good, it's delicious, good for your mind, good for your heart, good for your spirit. After the harvest, out of respect, we take certain parts of the bison back to the grazing land where they had lived previously, but the spirit can return back to the land. The future of our bison product, it's unlimited. Looking at a nationwide product that you can see on every shelf, where people across the world can be able to taste that and they can be able to know a product like this. That product that comes from the Ute Indian Reservation is well taken care of from start to finish. We are truly blessed by this animal. It has taken care of us and it always will.